I spice before they were famous. Drake's favorite Bronx drill rapper. Yeah, I know you. I'm not gonna say no to watching this. this Crazy. How are you having me host the Ice Spice video and I don't have a fresh cut and my skin's not on ten? Like you guys are setting me up for failure here, man. Cause, cause I, I would eat it for lunch. I just chances right, are bro. now. I just let's let's just get into the video. Like, she's not letting Twenty-two year old female rapper Ice Spice pairs her entirely enticing appearance with some of the cleanest and best production to come out of the Bronx in a hot minute. Now, if you've ever seen her on social media, then you know that Ice is fully capable of grabbing anybody's attention before she even utters a word. But working with her producer partner, Riot, Ice Spice has found a magical formula when it comes to sampling EDM tunes to soften the otherwise I'm not gonna lie, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. I'll say the least, she knows what she's doing. Every time I wants to click off her video, she knows exactly what to do to make them stay. Additionally, menacing production of drill music into something of her own. And once her vocals come in, listeners are hooked thanks to her natural ability on the mic and an attitude that was shaped by growing up in the world's most famous city. Ice Spice has been working her way towards this moment since March of 2021. And now that she's finally on the cusp of making it big, she's gonna soak it all in. So how did she get here and what role did her father play in helping her achieve success? Well, you're about to find out that and a whole bunch her more. Her father? She has a episode. father? In her life? Famous. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell to turn on notifications, all that good stuff, because doing those three w things email. really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, let's get right into this story. Ice Spice is a half Dominican, half black woman who was born and raised in the Bronx, New York, sometime in the year 2000. Her parents first met at the cross section of Fordham Road and Davidson Avenue, hmm. right outside of a local McDonald's. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know my friend. stay together to raise ice, but they also didn't live all that far from one another. In fact, both of Ice's parents lived out of apartment buildings on the same block. And as a child, Ice would shuffle back and forth between living with her mom and abuela in one and her father and grandmother in another. How was your upbringing like, you know, being from the Bronx? Um, it was lit. I mean, you know, it's hectic. Right now, it's hectic. So, yeah, but it was fun, though. Growing up in such a volatile area it was fun, would though. teach Ice four important rules. Number one, mind your business. Number two, stay on your toes and be aware of your surroundings at all times. Rule number three, don't be too flashy unless you're looking for a fight or to get robbed. And last but not least, you gotta be tough, especially if you're by yourself. Taking all of that into consideration, it's probably no surprise that Ice's entire world existed in the space between her parents' two buildings. In fact, most of the time, she'd wind up staying indoors due to the incredibly high crime rates in the area. Now that is where she'd wind up immersing herself in television and YouTube while nurturing her dreams of one day becoming famous, getting an early start by penning poems and a few rap lyrics since the time she was in elementary. Yo, I gotta find some for you, Nick. Look at this, bro. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga munch. Either he ate it for lunch. I get what I ain't never seen a nigga recover so quick. I have never seen somebody get shot and recover this damn quickly to be in a TikTok with Ice Spice. I've never seen that before. Oh my god. Oh man. That's Crazy. Speaking of school, I spent the first part of her education attending elementary in the Bronx. But when it came time for high school, her parents sent her to a Catholic school in Yonkers, hoping that it would be a better environment for her. Not that it really turned out that way, because let's be real, when it comes to New York City, kids are always going to move shysty. Now, around that time, I Cringe. His original plan was to become an actress. Then came a passion for volleyball, something that she was so good at that she went up going to college and becoming a member of the school team. But after a year of living that life, Ice decided it wasn't for her and altered her plans to attend beauty school, something that she never actually got around to doing. If you wasn't doing music, what would you be doing right now? Um, if I wasn't doing music, I'd Sucking straight dick. Excuse me, what else would she be? She would be on her knees. The hell? Probably be doing hair or something like that. I don't know. Doing the hair. Yeah, you be doing men's hair and to bring condoms every time they, they need a head done. Now that is because before she could follow that path any further, she wound up achieving her original goal of becoming famous with the help of hip hop. Ice Spice comes by her musical ability pretty naturally. You see, her father was actually something of an underground rapper himself. Oh, and while this single fact nice. has led to some people accusing her of being an industry Love plan, the, the truth is that Ice simply became Stay inspired safe, to gang. pursue her dreams thanks to artists like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, alongside some other favorites like Doja Cat and Lil Durk. Having a dad that's an underground rapper, like really, that's 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 how you guys 
conclude that she's an industry plant, that's crazy. Who are you listening to as a kid? Like, who were kind of like your biggest inspirations? As a kid? Yeah, Nikki, or growing up and shit like that. Nicki Minaj, definitely. Okay. Like, you know, Drake, um, like the obvious ones, like as a kid. During her first year of high school, Ice created a fake. I never really had that artist that I grew up listening to. Maybe Justin Timberlake. I f with him from day one. That nigga hard as hell. But I never really had an artist. Especially not like a rap artist that I'd always listen to. What about you? You ever have one? You guys have one that like you grew up listening to? Instagram account by the name of Ice Spice and from that point forward it would become her alter ego. Then during her brief time in college she would meet the individual who would end up playing a big role in her hip hop emergence. A Bronx producer by the Michael name Michael Jackson's of a good one. Why yeah, that's good. The the one on one um i feel like it's just best to lock in you know like with a producer and mm -hmm. like build your own sound because um i mean no shade but everybody be getting beats yeah, off youtube flyer. so it's mm -hmm. like you know it kind of feels good when everybody's like yo where can i find the instrumental like where can i find it and you can't it wasn't until meeting riot that ice really decided ain't nobody asking for no instrument <laughs> i can guarantee that is not the questions that should be getting her dm they be asking you throw it back when you're gonna do OnlyFans, when do you suck dick? Can you suck dick? Will you suck dick? Suck my dick question. No, ain't nobody asking for no no one's asking for an instrumental, bro. Why who the fuck you who you who you gaslighting? Who the fuck you lying to, bro? To get serious about making music. <laughs> Can I for a smash? Living. Soon afterwards, these two teamed up and recorded their very first song together. A track named <laughs> Is asking for pussy. <laughs> At that point, Riot had been sending his new friend beats for weeks. None of them really captured Ice's imagination, but then she heard the beat for Bully and couldn't stop listening to it for a month straight. After Ice took part in the Erica Banks Bust a Challenge on TikTok and wound oh up with over a million goodness. views, she figured that now was as oh good as time goodness. as any to capitalize on her momentum. So she and Riot hit the studio and laid down some vocals over top of the Bully beat. They recorded and finished the track in just one week and then dropped it later that month. Since then, Ice Spice and Riot have dropped four more tracks and picked up some considerable buzz along the way. But if you take a moment to ask Ice about her sudden rise to success, I mean, she'll Lord tell you that it didn't really come it. as much of a surprise to her at all. She explained the audio, Mac. I expected things to move faster, to be honest. I just believe in myself so much. But I think things are moving at a good pace. Nigga, good pace? That's like insane. That's a, a marvelous pace that she's moving at. Crazy. In other words, Ice Spice has all the tools for her inevitable success, and she definitely knows how to use tools. <laughs> she, guys, she has the tools for her success, guys. Yeah, I wonder what that means. Houston. She's not the only one that feels that way. At this still extremely early point in her career, Ice Spice has a number of accomplishments that she's still looking forward to achieving. For one, she wants to record Latin music in the very near future while also wading into the territory of pop with the intent of creating new songs that are full of fun vibes. But her biggest goal of right now is to win a Grammy. And while she <laughs> may not have pace. accomplished those things quite yet, what she has managed <laughs> to do is, is get funny. noticed by none other than rap superstar Drake, who took a moment to shout out this young artist after discovering her freestyle from On The Radar. Can't keep getting away with this, man. He always finds them. You can't keep getting away with this, man. Why does it have to be him and not me, man? Nigga, because look at you and look at Drake. The fuck? He finds them way too quick. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how Drake has the time, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nigga, I don't know, I don't know. And got all in New York City talking. But then the six god picked up on the buzz and sent Ice Spice a private DM congratulating her for her newfound success. Only a short time later, Ice was spotted hanging out at a show with Drake in the city of Toronto. That nigga Drake got to her way too quickly though. He's spitting way too quickly. Which one just goes to show how fast Drake moves and two, how much of an impression Ice is clearly making at what's still the beginning stages of her career. Still man, Drake don't miss. Drake do not miss, man. And if that wasn't enough laurels to hang her hat on, Ice has teamed up with Riot once again to unleash the music video for her newest single, Munch. Now as for where Ice Spice goes from here, well, she hey. may very well be the newest member on the OVO roster, but until that moment actually comes to pass, well, we're just gonna have to keep our eyes peeled and see what happens next. I mean, after all, this is before they were famous. Thank hey, you everybody man. for watching. Please don't forget to leave your thoughts on the story of Ice Spice's hey, career so far in the comments down below. And after you're done that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. That's crazy though. That is crazy though. Man. You say me and gang really feel like Fabs was right now, all of the gang get busy. Ain't got time for a bitch, nigga. Got one bitch on my mind and her name Lizzie. Stepping the thing, gonna make that pop stop. Whipping that coke, not fizzy. UKU and I listen to you. I go to my G and I say you're too.